Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to look at uh, Wicker window winders this time. Wicker window winders um, have been fitted for many years. They've come in many different versions. We're looking at the Mark 8, which is the most current version and also the one that was supplied up uh, probably about three, four, five years ago. So there's two types uh, that are out there. Um, as well as the earlier versions. The earlier versions of this type of lock um, we can't do anything with. These particular ones here we wanted to show you a new part which allows window restrictions which is this part here, this little tiny part here and this little tiny part here. Why window restrictions are so important is because if you've got a lock like this and you need to restrict your window you don't want to have to go buying new window locks. These window winders are quite expensive and by buying just a simple little part to restrict your window from opening a certain amount is a lot cheaper uh, than having to buy a new window winder, install a new window winder. So if you've got one of these fitted on your windows and you're finding you have to restrict your windows for council regulations, then this would be the best method. I'll quickly take you over the council regulations that have now come out. As you can see them here, this is supplied by the Fair Trading New South Wales.gov.au. I'll take you through a, a few quick uh, parts on this. Uh, this applies to all windows, but for now we're just talking about the window winders. Uh, so the idea behind this is if you do have a window winder, we're trying to save having to replace them just by making them compliant with the new regulations coming into effect of uh, the 13th of March 2008. So at the time of recording until then is probably about uh, two years, but um, they all must comply by then, otherwise there will be fines and strata problems. So first of all, I'll take you through some of the highlighted parts on this, on who needs it. Uh, first of all here, alternative to locks. Uh, there are alternatives such as bars and grills. They must be, the, for uh, security screens, they must be reinforced type that can with strong, um, a very strong outwards pressure. So your standard fly screen or security screen with the aluminium checkers across them most likely won't comply. If you've got some heavy duty stainless steel like crimp safe, they might comply. But check with your council on that. Uh, bars and grills, of course, made of steel bolted into the framework will, will comply as well, as long as the gap is less than 12.5 uh, centimeters. Who needs uh, locks, window locks or window restrictors on their locks? Oh, sorry, window restrictors on their windows. Uh, anyone who is above 2.2 meters higher than the ground level. So that's the level of the actual unit floor, and that's the ground level. And in uh, all my days, I've never seen one that is shorter than two meters. Uh, whether you've got a parking lot underneath, storage or anything, they're always above two meters. Very, very rarely is it less than two meters. So even if you're on the ground floor, you can assume that yes, you will need to put uh, window locks or window restrictors on your locks. Up here, you can see that any window which is above 1.8 meters high, which is uh, the height here to here, doesn't need to comply with these regulations basically to stop kids climbing out of the windows. Okay, next week, let's quickly go through this. Um, will this mean the windows will never be able to open? Uh, no, what you need to have is um, a window lock that allows, well, you don't need to have it to allow it to open fully, but you can. You can have a window lock that allows a window to be fully opened, fully closed, and also locked at 12.5 uh, centimeters. And once again, it's 12.5 centimeters or less. No bigger than 12 point. 0.5 but you can have less and that will still comply. Um, will the locks cost you a fortune? No, um, as we've seen in this example and I'll show you how to install them, Wico have come out with this um, product here, these two parts here to install on these particular window winders so no you don't have to buy new window winders and it's a more cost effective, cost effective solution to make your window locks compliant. Other manufacturers um, might come out with different ones and we'll show you as they do but generally speaking, um, there is always a cheaper solution. There is also on our website uh, window re restrainers which only allow the window to open a certain amount. It's completely separate to any locking system or anything else you have. And once again, they're quite easy to install and quite cheap. So for more information down the bottom here, just go to fairtrading.newsouthwales.au. Uh, uh, we're only going off this brochure, so if, if you need to, please uh, check the complete facts with Department of Fair Trading. Uh, we're just using this as a guide and reference for the information, so don't um, don't rely on what we say. We're just giving you a guide and a rough outline, and it is always best to do your own homework before relying on um, the information, as regulations do change, and 
we're limited on what they supply us. And we can only go on what we've seen and your council might be different to the regulations, so just check. Uh, first one here, we're going to talk about the uh, Mark 8 uh, Wico window winder. This is a pretty common window winder, I'll show you how it works. When the window is at rest, uh, the window would be installed on this part here, as you can see it here. And when you turn the key, it winds out. So when you turn the handle, it winds out. Now these window winders do have this pull and um, sort of rotate type of handle. That's one you can, one way you can identify it. With the front here, they're also different from the older models too because they've got this nice curve shape here as well and the one button on the inside. The good thing about the one button is basically you can uh, push it and um, it stops the window from being wound out any further but will allow the window to be retracted all the way in. So as to whether or not it complies just by pushing the button, um, we are yet still to find out. But they've gone further with uh, this window winder to allow it to have this part inserted here. Now this part inserted here simply goes into the hole here. There are two holes. You can go into the first hole or the second hole. Uh, one thing we have noticed is that um, it doesn't comply with the 12.5 and um, that was quite surprising because it really should have. But I will show you how to modify and make it comply. So just by drilling one simple hole. So once in installing this window winder restrictor, which is this part right here, simply by pushing and then pushing it all the way in. And then when you screw it all the way up, um, it'll push it even further down. It's, it's uh, fairly flat. I haven't pushed it all the way in because I'll be pulling it out. Oops, sorry. As you can see there, but I've just put it in for this demonstration. So once it's in, in the actual hole, oh, we've got a key locked here. Once it's in the actual hole, it'll only allow the window to open up so far. Okay, and that's where I can feel it picking up. The length on that right there is well over 200. I can easily tell you that because my ruler here is 150 and we want this to be restricted uh, between 12.5 or less, which is approximately about there. So this, uh, while this restrictor does work, that's about what we want. While this restrictor does work, it, um, the common standard holes they've designed on this lock are not um, in the right place to comply with New South Wales regulations. So I'll show you how to modify this in a later video, but this part is available on our lock shop. It will restrain the window to approximately about 150, sorry, to about 200. So that is uh, still some restra uh, restraint, but um, not perfect for our needs. But uh, we'll deal with that in the next video. With this uh, one here, this is also a Wico Mark 8. Um, quite a good lock, exactly the same, identical. The keys are a different key, nothing different about it whatsoever. Uh, when you flip it underneath, they've actually accommodated for the regulations and all the rest. We've got two little arrows here, one, one saying 100 with an arrow, one saying 150 with an arrow, and uh, we have a different part altogether which is this little part here. And this goes between the chain just to restrict it from going all the way out. Now I'm just going to uh, wind it out to show you. Winds like normal, there's a little black cog that comes up through here. It's got good cutout windows to allow you to insert the, the restrictor. Uh, from this side too, it's got the pull up handle. So you can pull that up, pull that down. It does also have the button as well. So once the winder is out, you can simply push the button. You can wind it back in, but you can't wind it back out. And once again, you need the key to, um, to undo that. Now, in the newer models, it does look like, um, where are we there? It does look like they come with instructions as well. So I'll quickly just show you that and it does also look like they are included with the new window winders so if you buy a new window winder you might actually get one included if you didn't install it and now you need to you can always buy one from our lock shop and i'll quickly show you how to install this one so this mark 8 window winder is of course a better model and for this reason um, of the restrictor it's a lot better as well so i'm just going to wind this all the way in it does come with instructions. Um, here are the instructions to install it. 
the, I was reading the instructions and I'll give you the quick rundown in 30 seconds on how to install it. So there's basically the instructions that come with it. Fairly straightforward. So wind the winder to the complete, um, completely up and then identifying which hole you want to put the, the restrictor into. If I can show you the chain there, uh, it's a bit hard to see. You've actually got the chain uh, where the chain connects to the chain, where the chain connects to the chain, and in the middle is in between the chain. That's where we're going to be placing this part right here. Now, I just like to use uh, pliers, it makes it easier. I'm just going to put that in there. Now, I'm clipping it in towards the way the arrow goes, and also this little black plastic thing has a little flap on it. See that little flap right there? According to the instructions and all the rest, you can keep that facing outwards. So I'm just going to get that and slot it in between the chain. Nice big solid solid click. Sorry about the lighting, it is a little bit hard to see, but you can, you can see it has been installed right there. Okay, now we're going to try winding this out. And that's as far as I can wind it, and you can see the, well, it's probably a bit hard to see. Uh, there's a, a plastic gear which is now hit into that stopper, restricting it from going any further. So the length on this now is about 90. Um, we could we could be going a, you know, an extra 20, 25 mil if we wanted to get maximum opening. But to do that would mean we'd need to restrict the chain in between here. They only give us the two options of 100 and uh, 150. So to be on the safe side, you clip, clip it in the 100 because then you're definitely under the right um, the right size. So that's, um, if if at all possible, you're buying new ones, make sure they do have the cutout. Uh, they also do come with this um, retainer in the bag. If you have uh, ones like this and you don't have the retainer, simply uh, buy, buy this part from our lock shop. And I'll quickly show you this part again. If I can unclip it. It's alright, I'll just show you this one here. This is the part here. This is on our lock shop. So you can just buy it if you installed your window winders and forgot to put them in. Uh, for this winder here, which is also the Mark 8, uh, the one with the circles on the back, there is no way to tell from the top of it um, if, it's a, if it's one with the square holes or it's one with the round holes. There's no actual way to tell at all. So you actually have to undo these two screws, flip it over, and then you can see which stopper or window restrictor you need. So this one as well is available in our lock shop. Um, it doesn't comply, so what I'm going to do now is do another video and show you where to drill a hole to make this comply so that you can use this little plastic grub screw and restrict the window below 125 mil. Okay, that's it. Further information, please, uh, please email. These locks are available at drlock.com.au. Just go to the store and uh, further information, please email. Thanks for watching. Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Uh, this is part two of the window winders. We have this window winder here which is a Mark 8 Widco window winder and we want to install this, this window winder restrictor right here. These are a separate stocked item, they didn't come when they were originally installed and um, now you need to restrict your windows, we're going to show you how to do that. The two installation holes here that they've given us are not exactly compliant so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install um, this this um, little window winder restrictor here and how to modify this to allow this to go in. The two spots here won't actually allow for compliant um, window locks under the New South Wales um, reg new regulations coming in 2018. So because the lock is not suited for it we're going to modify it. So what I'm doing now using um, the, the chain is at the top I have one big hole, two little holes, and one more big hole. I'm going to use a ruler here, and I'm going to find approximately about halfway, halfway of the bottom little circle. I'm just going to mark that there. So if you can see that there, that's approximately about half. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ruler once again and come down about 
50 mil to about here. So I've, I've used my ruler to find the center from here straight down and I'm using my ruler on the top to find the center of the hole. So it needs to be fairly accurate but what we're doing here is we're going from center of this hole straight down and uh, doing a doing a hole at about 50 mil there. And if our calculations are correct, it should restrain the window less than 1250 mil. Okay. Now the next step is to find out what size hole we need. This is the correct hole here, so I'm just going to quickly measure that and uh, zero them off. I'm looking at 7.85. So an 8 mil hole should be sufficient. Okay, now I'm going to go and uh, quickly drill an 8 mil hole right here. I'll highlight it so you can see it. I'm going to go drill an 8 mil hole right here on the dot. And we're going to come back and install this and see how it works. Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. This is part 3 of the window winder restrictor video where we're restricting window winders to go, well, to open less than 12.5. Now with this uh, Mark 8 window winder from Widco, this was the one which had the holes here, uh, which were not in the right spot. So by factory, if we were to use the restrictor here, it would allow the window winder to open above what the regulations are. So I've just gone through and showed you uh, where to drill, and I'll do that one more time. Uh, using the ruler here, on there's two big holes, and two little holes and the chain is at the top just for your reference using the little hole here you want to find halfway half of that hole there and put a mark there then you need to come down using half of that hole again so you're trying to find the exact center of that hole and come down exactly 50 mil 50 mil exactly and then drill an 8 millimeter hole now when you're drilling it, a word of advice to use uh, soft jaws so that when you're clamping this you don't actually scratch the surface because it would look quite nasty if you did. Second of all, there is chain in there which is covered by grease so you want to keep all the burrs and wood chips out of there, sorry, metal chips out of there as well because you don't want them clogging up the chain and uh, getting attracted to the grease because your window winder will forever be um, how do you say, not smoothly working and no smooth action and you'll never be able to clean it out because this is a sealed unit. So when you do drill it, um, I put it in the vise vertically like that and drilled nice and slowly with a very uh, very sharp drill bit and that allowed me not to get any burrs here and not to drop any uh, crumbs on the inside which will stick to the window winder track. Okay, so now we've actually drilled out our new hole which is right here. We're going to insert this window winder restrictor and see how that operates. So I'm going to wind it back all the way first so you can see. Oh, where are they? Starting from about there. So the window is completely uh, closed. I'm going to push this all the way in. Okay, I can't even push it in. Probably needs a little tap there because after it gets pushed in there's a little lump. So that's been pushed in right there, that's our window restrictor, and let's see how far we get now. And stop. Can't really push it any further. Looking at the distance there, we're looking at uh, about 95 millimeters. So that's 95 millimeters now that the window can wind out to. You can't wind it out any further. You can wind it back in. And of course you can push the button so it can't wind out any further there as well. But that's basically as far as you can wind it. I'm trying to push it, see if it will go any further. No, it won't. So that allows you to keep your window winder without having to buy a new window winder to comply with the regulations. By, using, um, by drilling one very small little hole at the sizes that I told you and also installing this one little black grommet which is reasonably cheap. For further information, please email us. These uh, parts are available on our lock shop. There's two of them. There's uh, this one here and this one here to help you restrict your window winders and save you money and also complying with the regulations. Thanks for watching.